Hello. Welcome to Dimu's Tutorials. This is part 1 of Engineering Materials series. In part 1 we will learn, Elastic and Plastic Deformation, Stress Strain Curve, Yield Strength, Ultimate Strength, Fracture, and Young's Modulus. Consider a specimen with length L. It is under tensile force at two extreme ends. The specimen will start expanding when both the forces will become active. The specimen will regain its original length when the force removed. Up to specific limit of tensile force, the specimen is able to regain its original length. This is called elastic limit and the deformation is called elastic deformation. If tensile force increased beyond elastic limit, the specimen will not be able to regain its original length even when the force is removed. This is called plastic deformation. When stretched further there will be great decrease in cross-sectional area of specimen. Ultimately it will fracture. Let us now correlate this with stress-strain curve. In stress-strain curve, stress is plotted on y-axis and strain is plotted on x-axis. With the application of tensile force the stress is going to increase. Within elastic limit the stress will decrease when the force is removed. The highest point of elastic limit is called yield strength. Beyond that, during plastic deformation, the stress will continue to rise but with the sudden rise in strain. At the end of plastic deformation and before start of fracture, it will reach at saturation point. This is called ultimate tensile strength the maximum stress it can handle. During fracture, the stress tends to decrease till the specimen breaks in two pieces. Young's modulus, also known as the elastic modulus, is a measure of the stiffness of a solid material. It is the ratio of stress and strain during tensile test mentioned here. Thanks for watching. Log on to dies.biz for more engineering tutorials.